Yo, it's Bottom Playboys. Before we jump into today's video, man, I want to let you guys know that I'm part of Team Max Speed. If you guys are looking to get anything clutch, flash pros, turbo kits, injectors, anything, just DM me on Instagram, my underscore, I got the soda. I could probably help you get a good deal on it, or you know, probably get you an amazing deal. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am doing a group buy-in for a turbo kit. Uh, it's a Max Speed turbo kit. If you guys are interested, I'll give you guys more details. If you guys go to my Instagram, you actually find a post that I posted about the turbo uh, buy-in. Right now, we got three spots left. Um, I can't tell you how fast it's going to go. I can't tell you how slow it's going to go. But I just know that it's going to happen. Yeah, man. So, let's jump into today's video. Let's do it. Yours, Palm Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. And for all the new subscribers, what's popping? My name is Sean. I drive a 9th Gen 2015 Honda Civic SI. I call her Dusty because she's always dusty. But yeah, man, she looks good, boy. She looks good. But in today's video, as you guys see in the clips, we're gonna be installing some LEDs for the fog lights. These things look very like like high quality, man. Like they feel real nice. They don't feel cheap. Came in a nice little box, bro. The presentation of how and like. Everything, bro, was just perfect, bro. I really like it. And also, they gave me a free jet tag, which I probably might throw inside the car. I don't know yet. But yeah, I like the one thing I really like is that they protected the uh, LED bulb because you know sometimes uh, during shipping you can get like messed up and you know hit stuff. I really like that they protected it, so you shouldn't have any issues when you install it, like one not turning on and something like that. But yeah, man, it should be a simple install. I am gonna be taking off the front bumper because I do find it easier to access the fog lights rather than like sticking your hand behind here and pulling off the splash guard and all that stuff. So yeah, man. Ooh, Dusty, you looking good. Let's get this video started. Let's get it. guys she is off didn't take too much work um very simple process it's gonna be a bolt that's right here you take that bolt off it's gonna be screwed in right here um once you take that off do the same thing to the other side put your hand underneath it and pry up it'll pop out and then there's gonna be two of these underneath um your under tray you're gonna take those two bolts out and uh also take out these four uh I forgot what these are called, but these things, they're gonna be four of them. Take out all four of those, and then you'll be able to pop off your bumper. It's not really hard, very simple. Uh, just make sure you're uh, not trying to force anything, because if you do, you will break those tabs and uh, end up with something like this. But I'm not the one who did this. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that, because now it makes my bumper not sit right. And it's very, very annoying. But yeah, like I was saying before, remember how I said I don't have any fog lights? I literally don't have any fog lights. Um, something happened to this one and broke this whole bezel and, not the bezel, but like the whole housing and yada yada yada. This one's the only one that's in, but it doesn't even work. I don't know why. I literally don't have an idea why it doesn't work. I just know it doesn't work. But yeah, man, we get to take them things off. Wait, something's, something's missing. Oh my gosh. Is this the... It's still there. Oh my god. Alright guys, as you can see, that little like O-ring, this right here, is supposed to be on the bulb, on the bulb that I have. But it's not. So hopefully I could just like twist it or something or probably put the bulb back inside and then uh twist it, see if it comes off. Cause this is not supposed to stay inside. It's supposed to look like this. So yeah, let's get this. Let's get this done. And boom, got it out. This was the little piece right here I was talking about. It somehow got stuck. And uh, yeah, what I used was my little, I uh, uh, forgot what this is called. My wrench, I'm just gonna call it a wrench. And uh, pried it off, but yeah, man. This little piece right here. 
All right, guys. So simple process now. We're just gonna install these in, uh, insert, and screw into the clips. Boom! There goes one. And to do the others, the same process as well. Insert, and boom! Just like that, you guys. Both of them are installed. Now we're ready to throw them back on the car and see them boys shine. Cause woo, I'm ready. Alright guys, so bumper's back on. As you guys can see, it did rain a little bit, but it didn't stop me from doing the video or doing the install. But yeah, man, now it's time to test them out. Yes, sir. Dang, those are pretty bright. Can't really tell the difference because it's daytime still, but man, it is pretty bright. I like it. I like the look. It's clean. Woo! One thing I really, really like about these fog lights are that they're really quiet. These do have a fan, and as you can hear, you don't hear nothing. Which is pretty cool, because you don't really find that in a lot of headlights. A lot of headlights are usually really noisy when they have the fans on them. But these are pretty, pretty dang quiet, and I really like that. Well, you guys, this is my man off the video. I'm going to do another huge shout out to No Sight for sending me out their new LEDs. Bro, they look really good. If you guys want to go pick up a set, I'm going to leave their link down below. Go check them out, man. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy Zuby on underscore. Follow your boy Zuby. Oh, my gosh. Follow your boy at underscore got the soda on Instagram. And your boy's out. Peace.